Hi Soldaten and welcome. Today we will continue with our tutorials for Steel Division. Today I will teach and share with you some tips on how to behave on battlefield and how to win against your opponents. Before we are to start I would like to tell you and want you to be sure that you are to subscribe and like this video if you are to enjoy. Also check the other tutorials I made on this subject and you can find the link for those down below in the description section. One of the first things is to set your troops on the roads. Troops are using roads to get to the destination, that is the automated way in which your troops are to move. By setting them on the road you will get those valuable seconds when you, the battle starts and you will reach that destination faster and you will put pressure on the opponent. Also, your opponent are to move over the roads as well, so capturing roads and making ambushes across the forests near the roads is the perfect place to set an ambush. Second tip is also regarding your pre-battle preparations and once the battle started. I would advise you guys to give your troops an order immediately as soon as you prepare them on the road to move that way you will not forget about them moving and that way you will make sure that they are to move you can also give them multiple orders to execute so you can do that by holding the shift and moving those units you can also check are your troops given an order and are they to move by selecting them and pressing the space furthermore you can distinguish the first order and the second order by looking at the colors. First order will be marked with blue color. Second order is usually marked with green or lighter colors. Tip number three can also be used while you are in a pre-battle stance when you are giving order to your troops and it is regarding reading the terrain and positioning. It is really important that you have a good vision and that you have cover. You can check that by pressing C and hovering your mouse over positions. That way you can see the areas you can see and areas you cannot. Also by moving your mouse over a position you can see does it have any cover. That can be seen by the color which can be seen inside the crosshair of your mouse where you are hovering over it. You can have no, no color. You can have yellow cover which is a light cover and you can have green color which is representing heavy cover. Tip number four. When your units and when on the map you see them blinking, those units are hidden and enemy cannot see them. So that means that they are in an ambush position. Use this wisely and prepare when your opponents are to come. Tip number four is like the basic tip of any strategy game. Get good and get to know your units. Best way to behave on battlefield is to know the capabilities of your unit and for what are they designed. That will come with the time and with the experience but it can also come just by watching how your opponents are using those troops. By looking at that you will see what are their strengths, when did you lose when encountering them and how your opponents behaved with them on the battlefield and how you lost. You can also watch some videos like this where you can learn about those units. Tip number 6 is about the scouts. Scouts are your lifeline. Without scouts you don't hear, you cannot see and you cannot move. Your scouts are one of the most important units which you need in your battle group. Make sure that you have scouts on critical positions and make sure that they, their attack is halted so that they don't fire at the enemy and they cannot fire at will. That way they will not show where their position is. Tip number 7 is regarding one of the main mechanics of this game, stress and suppression. While your units are inside garrisons, when while they are inside the buildings, they cannot be suppressed unless they are being attacked by flamethrowers or artillery. So make sure to garrison your troops inside the buildings to get that more extra bonus against enemy troops and that morale. However, if you are to get pinned and if your stress bar is all the way up and filled, 
you should retreat immediately or you can face surrender or you can face further casualties. Immediately press R to retreat. Tip number 9 is also regarding one of the key mechanics of this game which I covered also in another video so you can check that by going down below in a description section and that is the front line. That mechanic can show you is opponent close. So if you are moving with your troops and you see that that front line is not moving but I mean you're getting closer and closer to it and you see that the front line is still static it's not moving anywhere that means that the opponent is in a hundred meters from that position and that he is holding it so you need to be careful for it. Another thing is that if you see uh, that front line moves, that doesn't mean it is completely safe. Opponent can have anti-tank units, some paratroopers or even scouts behind the line and just waiting for you to pass and to ambush it. So be careful with the front line. It can be a savior, but it can also be a deadly trap. Last tip I have is a pretty simple tip. And it's something I forget as well during the battle, but it is to use army leader as much as you can. Get it behind your units, don't get it on the front line. And try to use that radius you have and try to cover as much units as you have. So you will be able to deal more damage and perform better on the battlefield. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe to support this channel and to get more videos. Check my social networks as well. And also you should check the other videos on this channel so you can enjoy even more.